Okay, so I have the neat desktop scanner hooked up to my little Windows 10 laptop here, and I'm going to kind of go sh go through and show you what I did to get the software installed, get the drivers installed for the newer for the newer software and everything like that, and then actually show it working for you. So first thing I did was I actually typed in neat and then the model number of the unit that I have. Then clicking on this link right here. if I can line it up while viewing it through the camera, not as easy as it sounds, brought me to Neat's page. Now, it tells me that straight out of the box, these uh, things are not compatible. This new software is not compatible with the scanner I have. However, just down below, and it's a little bit scrambled there, I'm not sure why, it does tell you that you can get updated drivers for it. And if you click on that link, it takes you to this page where you've got the ability to download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit Windows drivers for this for this particular scanner. Once you have those downloaded and installed, then you can go through and you can download the actual Neat software. Now they've got three different versions here. They've got Neat for PC, Neat for Mac, and then Neat Lightweight Desktop App. I have not used the Lightweight. Um, because every time I've ever done this I've needed to calibrate the machine and things like that so I recommend the full desktop software which is this is what it looks like and it gives you a little better options and a letter, better usability than I think the light version probably would especially if you're doing this for taxes or for some actual important documents so I've actually got a Lowe's receipt here that I'm going to scan in that I, uh, I did a propane tank exchange yesterday so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to slide it right in there and I'm just going to hit the scan button and it's going to ask me where I want to keep it and I'm going to select new folder and click OK. As you can see it immediately starts scanning it in it's back at the bottom down here and you'll see it start to work. Now I've actually already done this so the, do the uh, file's already in there but as you can see over here to the side you've got a full view of the receipt and you can even zoom in on it and uh, see everything that's there but then they've also because their software is so cool they've gone through and just from the scan they've pulled out that this is Lowe's it was general retail when the date was that I used a debit card that uh, $1.48 was a sales tax and the total amount was $21.57 then it goes into whether or not that's tax deductible and things like that and uh, oh, there's another page over here I'm trying to load okay there we go uh, then it extends over I mean this is a small screen so bigger screens are gonna be better for this Oh, and there's the new file that I just scanned in and then it says uh, no form non-deductible so I guess you'd have to be uh, pretty creative to get this uh, propane tank exchange for uh, as a tax deduction there. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to leave this video in the listing and I will probably lead some links to the downloads that you would need for, for different things. But I've tested this out now on Windows 8, tested it out on Windows 7 and Windows 10 works flawlessly. It's a great little scanner.